truths and a lie and many of you might know this game already it's a very popular game to play and i use this pretty much um every time that i teach a new class because i think it's really fun i also really enjoy this game and um yeah it gets it usually creates a lot of laughter and start you can start building rapport with this game as well so what is this game about it is first of all it's really great for your very first lesson when you don't know the students the students they don't know you that's when you can use this game and it's it really works very well so how does this game work first of all the students they each write down three statements two statements need to be true and one of them has to be a lie so untrue next the students they either present the statements to each other or to the class or to you or to everyone depending on how you want to play it and then the other students or you need to guess which one of the statements is the lie so this usually usually if like the class if they all know each other then you can uh, play it where the students uh, read them to you and you need to guess because you don't know them. Or if they all don't know each other, you can play it as a class. But how I like to play it is I like to um, do this first. So I would write down three statements about myself onto the board and sort of also explain how the game works. And also when you write down the statements first, they, the students get a better idea of what kind of statements they can write down. Because I find that sometimes, depending on the level, they really don't really know what they should write down. And um, they don't really get it when you just explain it like this. So it works much better when you do the example first. Right, so... Um, Let's do this real quick. I prepared three statements that I would typically write down. So for example, I would write down, and this could be like, it works best when you write statements about you, right? Because it's getting to know each other. So you write statements about yourself. So my first statement is, I was born in Germany. The second statement, I speak five languages. The third statement, I have three brothers. And then you tell the students, which one is a lie? Which one is not true? Not true. And let's play this real quick. So in the comment box, you can just quickly write down one, two, or three, which one you think is a lie. Put that into the comment box, and then we'll see which one really is the lie. Okay? So do that right now. If you think I was born in Germany is a lie, you just put one into the comment box. If you think... I speak five languages is a lie. You put number two into the comments. And if you think number three, I have three brothers is a lie. You just put three into the comments. All right. Let's see what you guys think. And let's see uh, what. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. We have Margaret. Oh, Margaret. Two. Three. Juliana. Three. Elisita, two. All right, let's see. <laughs> Harish, two. Jermaine, two. Non Nancy, one. Okay, good. I'm just going to wait a couple more seconds. You can think, maybe if you want to change your answer, you could change. Juliana says, you don't speak five languages. So number two, let's see, let's see guys. <laughs> All right, are we ready for the reveal? All right, let's see. Let's see who was right. Okay, so I was born in Germany. True, I was. If you watched from the beginning, you probably caught that. I mentioned it every live in my introduction. Well, not that I was born, but I was sometimes said I was born there. I do speak five languages. That's actually true. I've had a real passion for languages ever since I was little, but I do not have three brothers. In fact, I don't have any siblings. I'm an only child. So congratulations. If you thought number three was the lie, you were correct. <laughs> you were correct. 
And now some people, a lot of people didn't think I speak five languages. So they're probably going to ask, okay, what languages do you speak? First of all, I speak German, English. Those are my native languages. And then I learned French in school for eight or nine years, long time. I also learned Spanish. And then I really wanted to learn something different. Um, and I learned Chinese. So that's the fifth one. Actually, then it's six. I made a mistake. I also learned Korean. <laughs> okay. I thought it was five. Well, if you maybe if you don't count don't count German, uh, which I consider to be my first native language, um, then it's five, I guess. <laughs> so it's actually six. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is a great game that you can play with your students. So you would do this first as an example, like I did now with three statements about myself, and then they would have to guess. And then you would give them time to write down their own statements and then have them read out their statements loud. And you as the teacher would guess which one is the lie. And um, yeah, this usually works really well. I like to play this game a lot with new students. You get to know them, but also they get to know something about you, which they typically always really appreciate and like um, when you join into the games. That's what they really like. So yeah, that's the game. Uh, thanks so much for participating. I really like playing this game. It's really fun. And um, yeah, maybe you can use this in your own classroom one day. Uh, like I said, it works really, really, really well. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.